It is freaking hot. Truck said 92 at 6 p.m. This AC unit uh, ain't working. Nothing. <coughs> this may look familiar. This is the place you were balancing the building last week. This is the place that had the bad transformer that had melted down. I was talking with our in-house service tech. He said, uh, he opened all this up and he said he was able to push in the contactors and make them go, but he couldn't get the thermostat to call. So he thought maybe it was a bad thermostat. And this location, has all the same thermostats, so he was able to just swap them, and that didn't work either. So, I was an hour away or so. I headed this way, my brain just kept thinking. I called him back, told him to pull the battery out of the thermostat. I've said it before, I hate batteries and thermostats. Because what's happening is, He's not getting his 24 volts to the bottom. Uh, I had him confirm that. He pulled the battery out, the thermostat was dead. So, he can switch thermostats all he wants. If his transformer isn't sending 24 volts to the bottom, ain't nothing gonna happen. So it's not off on a safety relay or anything yet. It's literally off, because it's not getting its 24 volts to the bottom, which either means we're off at a fuse, think so for the transform I put this 40 VA transformer in which should be more than enough to push things let me grab the meter right, and get so in first things first I've unhooked my transformer 208 circuit I put my meter in I've got 212 so I have power running into my transformer okay so now I'm gonna rehook that up and I'm going to hook up to my secondary coil coming out. And I wonder if this transformer just smoked for some reason. I got nothing out of the transformer, man. Yellow and blue, right? And let's go back and look at the beginning. All right, so this is a... If you wire this wrong, it will die. So, common was white. 120 would be black. Let me turn this off. I got my knuckles in here. I'm gonna like hit that. All right? The order is common 120 208. White, black, red. So white and red. White and red. Black and orange. I've got capped. So right, it wasn't a rolling video, but this thing just smoked. I just let the smoke out of it. Oh, here's why. Ay, 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 Joe. You know what would do me real good? To talk through this with you. Instead of being in such a damn hurry. Let's review. 120. 208. 240. 120 is white, 208 is red, 240 is orange, common is black. I wired it as if common was white. I literally just was like 208, red, boom, red and white. This thing is shot. I mean, there's a chance I could pretend and, and hope it's not, that's shot. So I just sacrificed. That's a, a lost piece of equipment because I was in a hurry. And the old one was white and red. I wired it wrong. Well, I just ordered two of these, so uh, let me go grab the other one. Black and red. I'm gonna cut these shorter, right? I'm not gonna strip them. And then I'm gonna wrap them with electrical tape individually just so those circuits are closed in case they can bleed through. Well, let's bring you for the ride this time. 
All right. One leg hot to red, which is 208. One leg of hot to black, which is the common. Output is blue and yellow. This unit, when you fire it up, uh huh. Hang on. I unhooked this. Da -da -da -da. There it is. Hey, click. Cooling stage just kicked on for a second. This unit does this when it fires up, cooling comes on, and then cooling turns off, and then the blower comes on a second later. It's an observation. I'm not explaining that's normal. I'm telling you that's what it did last time I was here, and that's what it's doing now. All right. So we're on a delay. The only thing in between everything was a delay. Blower pulled in, first and second stage cooling pulled in. So what I originally took out of there was a 60 VA transformer and I put in a 40. But that shouldn't have that shouldn't have mattered. This is definitely what died and then that's on me. So let's get this panel closed. They desperately need this cold air in the kit. That's super loud, the glycol unit, but let's just talk for a second because I'm a real dude. And I know the owners watch and I know technicians watch right I put that in last week and it's dead so legit I probably got this from United uh, I can look it up if I did get it from United uh, uh, nah they're not going to do anything about that I have to warranty that and should warranty it because I put that in last week and it's dead. So that's on me. I just wired this wrong and blew it. Physically blew this. So it's kind of like a, a restaurant when they screw up, you know, and they undercook your steak and then they take it back and then they fricassee your steak and it's a piece of leather and then they got to make you another steak you know and then they comp your meal well they just used three steaks and made zero dollars i just used three transformers and again that one we can question that one's on me a very simple mistake cost real dollars Making the trip out here, selling them that part last time. You know, I'm not complaining at anything more than kicking myself. I put an undersized transformer on there and maybe that's what blew it. I don't know for sure or not. And then I wired one wrong. Like, what I'm trying to say is, don't be me. That's a big screw up. I'm not passing that pain on to the customer. Good. In other news, they had a building balance company come out and tell them exactly what I've been telling them. Their building is horrifically out of balance. They're not bringing enough air in the makeup air. And, you know, they're just struggling to find a way to bring more air into the building. So the motor in here was pulling like six amps and it's allowed to pull 10. So they suggested they put a bigger blower uh, pulley on this to get more RPMs to get more airflow. This, which is the more sensible thing to do. Uh, this unit doesn't have a makeup, doesn't have a, right? There's no intake on this side. So they suggested that we put it's this you can get them from train that panel comes off and this goes on in its place and then you have an adjustable dealio so i got to get a price for that and we'll see about replacing this panel now it, what do i really want to do and this is the difference between me being the shysty guy that i am in the name of helping customers 
I want to fabricate it myself. Say the heck with it. Right? What if I just got some steel? I don't need to bring in horrific amounts of air. What if I just built, fabricated, uh, heck, I could probably buy one pre-bought pre -bought for like uh, the side of your house, right? Let's say a, a vent cover, put a vent cover in, cut a hole out, put a sliding damper on with a filter, and all of a sudden we can bring more air in the building. You know, that, that dealio from train is going to be dumb expensive. I bet a couple hundred bucks I can fabricate what they need. And given that this unit really needs to go, I mean, this straight needs to go. Look at it. I wouldn't suggest they spend any amount of real dollars on this thing. Let me put a, let me put a Jimmy cover and sliding door on there. We talked about it before. When's this from? Oh, I can't read the tag. Inside. This unit's from 2011. So what I should do, and what probably any other service company would do, was legitimately reach out to train and find out and be told that this intake is $800. I'm just guessing, but let's say it's $800. But here's a quote to replace the whole unit which is what we need to do because nobody's going to spend a thousand dollars to put this panel on to get the building in balance to a unit that's going to be dead in a year so but i'm wondering if i get in create both i'm going to start before i go creative i know a lot of people with a lot of graveyards so if i can find any unit that is even this or smaller that I can take that and cut this panel out, even if I have to grind it, right? If I have to cut this down for a, a 24 by 24 inch panel or a 24 by 30 panel, grind it out and then just screw into it that way, I think we can do it a couple hundred bucks, hopefully. Anyway. Dude, the sun is, well, it's not setting. We've still got a good ways to go, but it is just, still blazing hot out here. 